Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. Air Razor. Now, Air Razor comes to me thanks to the generosity of a subscriber, Brad Baluta. Thank you so much, buddy. This was the last Kingdom figure I needed to complete Wave 2, and I am so grateful for you. Thank you so much. So, now let's take a quick look at Air Razor here in the packaging. We've got Air Razor here in bot mode. Transformers, War for Cybertron Kingdom, some fantastic artwork of Air Razor in Falcon Mode and Robot Mode. Back of the package, we got Robot Mode and Falcon Mode once again. This side of the box, that fantastic Kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get Air Razor opened up out of this packaging and check her out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Air Razor all opened up and out of her packaging, you'll see she does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. She also comes with a trading card. I got another ARC. I think this is my third ARC card. You've got the ARC right here flying through space, and then you peel it back. Oh, that's different. It's the ARC hurtling through. I guess that's the dead universe. So that's cool. These second wave cards, the sticker's the same as the first wave, but the card underneath is different. So that's pretty cool. Air Razor also comes with her two little wrist-mounted missiles. So those are kind of neat. And now let's take a closer look at Air Razor herself. Now the first thing I noticed with Air Razor when I opened her up out of the packaging was the amount of sculpted detail she has. I mean, look at this. You can see all the feathers there on her shoulders, here on her chest, which is also the falcon head, and not to mention her wings. Those look great. I love the detail that Hasbro is putting on these Beast War figures. I mean, they look spectacular. And the paint applications are really good as well. You got the gold crest, the orange here, on her head, the feathers kind of flaring out from her helmet, not to mention the eyes. The eyes look great. Black with the green dots. She's got the purple face, a little goatee, if you will, right there. I mean, it's just amazing what they've done with this figure. She looks really, really good. Got a little Maximal logo right there on her wrist. Great detailing down here on the crotch, all the way down to the legs. I mean, this is a fantastic looking figure. Not much of a backpack at all, considering the wings she has. Of course, you can flare these wings out, and we'll get to that more with articulation. And, well, let's just go ahead and go into that right now. Air Razor's head is on a ball joint, so it can do a complete 360 and look up. It can look down slightly, so a lot of range of motion there with the arms. The arms could do a complete 360 if not for the wings. There's also these little shoulder pylons that can move up and down. There is a elbow bend. There is a elbow rotation 
and no wrist rotation, though she does have a little bit of a joint there, but that's mainly for transformation. There is a waist rotation. The legs can go forward, really tight hips. Legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out, they can go in. There is a knee rotation, a knee bend, and the ankles are a ball joint. And there is one problem I do have with the figure. These are a little loose, so getting her to stand is kind of tricky with these loose joints, but that's nothing a little floor polish won't fix. Going on to the wings, as you saw earlier, they can flare out like so, or you can untab them from the back and flare them out even more. So she has quite an impressive wingspan. Now I've been seeing on Facebook, some people pointing out, I'm trying to find exactly where it is, but they're getting stress marks on their wings. I haven't noticed any with my figure in particular, but just be aware of that, that that is kind of thin plastic there. So watch the stress marks. Now, another issue with uh, Air Razor, forgot her name. I can't tell me how many times I started this video over because I kept calling her Air Raid. But anyway, these tabs right here, which secure the wings to the back, they do not peg in great. I mean, they pop right out really, really easy. And I wish that stuck in a little bit better, but it's no biggie. Now, with her weapons, her little missiles, there are ports right there on her, her wrists. Can't talk tonight. Just slot those in like so. Now, the wrists is where she had the weapons in the show. You can also put them in her hand so she can wield them like so, but I don't like it that way. Air Razor needs to have them on her wrists. So there you go, guys. There you have Air Razor. See if I can get her to stand up. All armed and ready for battle. Now let's get her transformed into Falcon mode. And of course, the first thing we're going to do is take off these missiles that I just put on. We're going to untab the wings and fold these out and separate this back section like so. And we're just going to rotate the head around, bringing the Falcon head up. I got to make room to get that in there just right. There we go. Okay. Now also, if you wanted to, now you have Air Razor looking like a Roman, not a Roman, an Egyptian god. Horus, I believe, was the name. So there's an option if you're into Egyptian mythology. So once you've got that going on, you're going to take Air Razor's arms and fold the wrists up like so. And actually, these fit in to these slots right there. Just got to angle those fists accordingly. Get those back there in the back. It's kind of a fiddly transformation. I feel like I'm missing something, but I am not. Maybe I need to get the wings all the way back. There is something, something amiss here. Oh, there we go. I'm missing this. See the hinge right there? I got to get that flared up and over like so. Now the back section is going to be way more flush like so. So yes, don't forget those hinges right there. I've had this figure for about a week and I've only transformed her once and that was the very first day I got her. So now once you get this going on, you tuck in her fist like so, bring the shoulder pylons down, and now you've got the legs, and you want to bring the legs around. Let me see here. I'll get the legs flipped, so you got this little port right there that's going to match up to that little yellow peg. Bring those up. Peg it in. I always screw this up on camera. That's a guarantee when you're doing YouTube videos, you're going to screw up on camera. So get this flipped around. Get the legs down, out of the way. Another step I missed, you got to rotate the waist around. Now you have clear shot to get those thighs pegged in 
to those little pegs right there. So there we go. Get those locked in. Bring the bird feet around like so. You're going to bend these down here, these little leg pieces. Now make sure everything is tabbed in. And there we have Air Razor in Falcon mode. And this beast mode actually looks pretty good. Unless you look underneath and you got a lot of robot junk hanging off. But still, not bad. Let's see, I forgot to tab that in. Get that feather, tail feathers in there. And there we go. I dig it. I like this Hawk mode. A really, really good beast mode with a very impressive wingspan. Head sculpt looks great for the Hawk. Articulation. The beak can move up and down, but it is really hard to get to, especially when you have no fingernails. Underneath, you got the legs have a little bit of movement, especially there at the feet. The wings, of course, you can make them flap. You can bring them back like she's doing a dive, or kind of bring them in, angle the head like so, and have her just sitting there. Now, with the missiles, She's got these ports on the back of her legs that you can attach the missiles right here, like so. And there you go. You've got Air Razor in Falcon mode, all armed and ready for battle. All in all, I really like this beast mode. It's very impressive from the top. I mean, right here, that's a lot of robot right there, but hey, Beggars can't be choosers, and it's a much better beast mode than poor old Dinobot. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Air Razor with Kingdom Optimus Primal, Kingdom Cheetor, and Kingdom Rat Trap. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Air Razor is another Kingdom figure that really surprised me. I really had no interest in getting this figure whatsoever because I really didn't have a connection to the character, but thankfully Brad hooked me up and I really, really like her. Now granted, she's not 100% cartoon accurate, but still, this is an amazing figure and comes highly recommended. So there you go guys, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Air Razor. So. Does the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Air Razor belong in your collection? Absolutely, especially if you're a Beast Wars fan, you are going to love this toy. And even if you're not, this is a very unique Transformer to add to your collection, and I think you're really going to like her. Just a couple minor complaints, her loose ankles, but that's an easy fix with some floor polish. Just a little drop there on the ball joint, let it set overnight, you're good to go. Also, I wish the wings would tab in a little bit better for a backpack, but as you can see, I'm going to display her like that, so I really don't need those tabbed in anyway. So yeah, you see this figure on this shelf, don't hesitate, pick her up. You are not going to be disappointed. And guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Do what? Oh, that? I'll be taking a look at that very soon. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!